Clacton Pier in Essex. I've been here before, but I've never actually fished it. So I didn't realize you've only got these little railings, these little chains to rest your rods on. So I'm gonna have to rest the rods on them because I haven't brought my tripod trying to keep the weight of everything down. I thought I wouldn't need it. I'll just rest it on the uh, side of the pier. Next time I'll know. But you've got these nice little shelters for the fishermen. They keep the, the, uh, the wind off you at least. There's one over there, the furthest one away, that's actually got a roof on it, so it keep you dry as well. I've been to South End Pier a couple of times and I've had a couple of fruitless sessions, so I'm prepared to drive an hour away, see if I can catch something here. I've been, he been hearing through the grapevine that they've been getting skate and dogfish, still getting white in, and they've started to catch bass here as well, so it's just worth a go. It's low tide now, it's just on the turn, so I'm hoping to get some bites soon if, if the fish are on the feed. Met a really nice fella up a uh, couple of shelters along called Peter. He's, he's given me a bit of a lowdown on what to expect here. Let's see. Oh, we've got a dab. <laughs> Nice one. Give a good bite and all, didn't it? Nicely hooked in the lower lip. Yeah. That's it, he'll go back. All right, Alan, I'll leave you to it. Okay. See you after. <laughs> yeah, you ain't got a uh, landing net up there, have you? I've got a drop net, yeah. Drop net, yeah. yeah, if you get a big enough, I'll bring it down if you need it. I've got the drop net out as well. I haven't had much in it. Yeah, I've had some small prawns, some cone jellies, some transparent gobbies, believe it or not. And I've had this little cuttlefish, tiny little cuttlefish. Look at that, look. That would be so cool in a marine aquarium. All sorts of things there, mycids, comb jellies. Really what I'm after is something like an edible crab or a lobster or anything like that. I'm fishing a panel rig with squid. It's been lashed on with elasticated cotton. With the old uh, knotless knot method that I showed you. Caught a fish at last. Dogfish. This is the commonest member of the shark family in UK waters. It's a lesser spotted dogfish, or some people call it a cat shark. And they're nice to eat as well, so I'm gonna take this home. That's fish number two. That's a dogfish. Lesser spotted dogfish. And that is also big enough to come home for a meal. So, yeah, he's coming home with me. There we go. All right, that's Tony fishing the next hut along from me, and he's caught a nice dogfish. He's going to take that home and eat it like I'm going to do. <laughs> Definitely. Nice one. Good fish. Going to pull this drop net up now. There's some decent prawns, actually. Got these whelks in the drop net as well. well. Can you believe that size whiting has took that panel rig? That's two size 3 0 hooks and uh, about a five inch lump of squid. <laughs> He's wrapped his body around that. <laughs> this is dogfish number three. Gonna let this one go because it's lightly hooked and I've already taken a couple now anyway, so he's a lucky one this one. I 
I'll be getting some right nice prawns in the drop net. A couple of big monster uh, shore crabs as well, but you've seen all that before, so I've thrown, thrown them back. But you know, you could just come here with a drop net all day and just get a load of prawns. The, the fella at the end of the pier, he's just gone now. He had a 10 pound phone back right, female, he threw it back. So, uh, nice. I'll be coming back here again. Although I haven't had a skate, which is what I wanted, um, they are there to catch. Micro dab. Tony up the end of the pier has had a nice uh, little bass. Nice little schoolie. It's a nice little fish. Beautiful. Well done, Tony. What was that on? Uh, just on uh, ragworm again. Right, okay. Nice one. He's away. Cheers, Tony. No right, the tide's turned. Uh, it's on the ebb now. I haven't had a bite for a couple of hours, so I think it's time I went home. I've had three dogfish. I lost one on the surface. Um, had loads of bites, but just got to be tiny little fish. Had uh, a whiting and a dab. Not fantastic, but yeah, there, there was some fish to be caught. I've got a couple of uh, dogfish to take home, and I'll, I'll release another one as well. Yeah, I'll be back here. It's okay. The parking situation is not the best. It cost me a tenner all day. I mean, it's not. It's not the end of the world to pay a tenner. I would pay that on South End here and catch nothing, or I would pay ten pound to park in South End and catch nothing all day there. Some interesting things in the drop net. I think they're transparent gobies, but they could be crystal gobies. I'll have to uh, check that one out when I get home. Some prawns, some quite big ones. Four inches long, one of them. It's got to be. I've got a good handful of them. I've got some whelks. There's a lot of life around this pier in the water. A different kind of life from what you get off the south end. Back home, I'm gonna cook the fish tomorrow, but tonight I'm gonna to cook these prawns while they're still alive. I'm gonna put them in the freezer to comatose them. Then I'm gonna fry them up in a bit of olive oil and some garlic. Just gonna have some fried garlic prawns. So they've been in the freezer. They look well asleep to me. No, they're not, they're uh, comatose. Oh. Well, so these are the cooked prawns. Just fry them in garlic and olive oil. Let's see what they're like. Do you want to try one, Max? Yeah. They smell lovely. That big one there. Shell. <laughs> Did you just bite into the shell? Yeah, I got the shell off. <laughs> if, they, if they was deep fried, you could eat the shell. You just bit into the shell. How are they, Max? Uh, good. Yeah? These are really nice. You need a lot more than this, obviously, but it's just a little taster. So when they've been deep fried, the shell turns brittle and you can eat the shell. But I've never done it like this, shallow fried in olive oil. So I'm going to try it now. Might be a bit too much. You can do that. <laughs> Myth. Saves all that peeling. You got all the taste of the garlic on the outside of the shell. Myth busted. Mm. They are brittle enough that you can even eat the heads. Been taking the heads off. Might as well eat them. A little bit of there, don't you? Have a Gonna mm. try the head, Max? No, That's called the rostrum. Oh yeah, right next to the eye. Gonna try the head? It's got a lot of meat inside and it's good. Mm. Mm. Like right through the shell. That's all the 
the rock eel or the dogfish all cut up. I'm gonna cook it tomorrow. I haven't got time tonight to sort this out. And the head's in here. Shark head. They wanted to see the head. <laughs> so I saved it. And that